Hey beautiful, so here's my travel makeup kit that could take me anywhere. I have my brow products, eyeliner, lash curler and mascara, concealer and powder foundation, highlighter, contour and blush, and of course, lipstick. We're gonna skip brows as you already know what products I used. I'm picking up my concealer and targeting my under eye circles first, and then discolorations and blemishes. I normally don't wear foundation every day because number one, I usually just stay at home. I would normally wear foundation if I'm going out or doing a look. Number two is because I'm lazy to apply it. Number three, a concealer is enough sometimes. Foundation isn't really necessary to me. I'm just blending this in a patting motion using a synthetic face brush on areas where I want it to be opaque and then swiping it on areas where I want it to be natural looking. Next, we're still working with cream, so I'm using my trusty Ever Belena color pencil in brown which I use to carve the depth of my crease and outer corners. You can either blend this with your fingers or a blending brush. Sometimes I leave my lash line but this time I'm lining it to make my lashes look thicker. I also use this pencil to define my nose and lips. I'm applying this on the farther side of the nose so that when I blend it, it's gonna look narrow. Also, another favorite trick of mine, I just forgot to show it to you, but I like to create a horizontal line under the tip of my nose to create a shadow and that will make your nose look really white. Now, as you can see, I'm already in the process of blending my eyeshadow. I'm lifting my brows up so it's easier to blend and then I flick it to the outer corners for a subtle cat eye shape. This will make my eyes look more almond shape rather than a round eye shape which I naturally have and since I haven't set my face with powder, it's really easy to edit some mistakes. I'm just gonna reapply more pencil on this side and repeat the same process until everything is symmetrical. After that, I'm gonna lock this in place. I'm using Hello Flawless Powder in the shade Never Saddle. I used the brush that came with it but it's in the laundry so I'll just use a clean angled blush brush with this. Again, just use a tapping motion for opacity and then I'm gonna sweep everything off ever so lightly to make my base look as natural as possible. Then I'm using a travel size Hoola by Benefit Cosmetics to sculpt my face and the brush it came with. I actually just started using this again since I remembered how good it was. It's a neutral brown contour powder which I think is perfect for almost any skin tone. I'm applying these on my cheeks, to the outer corners of my eyes, my temples, and jawline. Next, I'm applying JCAT Beauty Love Struck Glam, la, 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 Glam Glow Powder in the shade Honey Bunches to the temples. This will accentuate my contour even more. And then I'm gonna highlight using a mini high beam, again from Benefit Cosmetics, to the tip of my nose and nose bridge, and then blending it with a Faber Castle brush for a soft highlight. For the inner corners, I'm using a synthetic fineliner brush for a more opaque highlight. When I'm going places, I normally don't bring a lot of brushes, so for the rest of my face, like my cheeks, I usually just blend with my warm fingers and that's it. I'm just gonna finish around the eyes. This isn't usually the order as I switch the steps every now and then. Basically, I blended the eyeliner with a pencil brush, curled my lashes, and now I'm applying mascara. Nowadays, I just apply one coat, but if I feel a little extra, I do two coats. But one thing's for sure, I'd always use the tip of my mascara to lift the outer lashes for a subtle flick. If I'm in a mood, I'd also coat my bottom lashes. To finish everything, I'm applying Jordana Sweet Cream Matte Rose Macaron, which is a pretty lip color by the way and lasts for several hours on me. And here's my travel makeup kit makeup tutorial for everyday. I hope you guys like this simple look. Don't forget to drop some love in the comment section by telling me what are your favorite travel beauty essentials and why. Also make sure that you're subscribed and turn the notifications on to be updated with my channel. Follow me on my social media handles at Anna Vitorino TV. Always remember that every day you wake up is an amazing gift. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!